Right, big up everybody, we're back. Welcome back to another live stream, welcome back to another video. We've got some transfer news to talk about and also a, a little bit of scaremongering to try and um, quell a little bit because apparently we're getting a trans, not a transfer ban, we're getting a points deduction. There's shiver me timbers and all of that bullshit. But there is some transfer news to discuss as well. We're linked to um, Oshiman as expected. Alfonso Davies' links have come round over the last 24 hours, so we're going to discuss that too. We're going to talk about whether Chelsea should be running scared. Are we going to get trophies deducted? Are we going to get points deducted? We will see. Also, Alfon um, not Alfonso Davies, Andre Santos is likely coming back in January. And best of luck to him on his return because the, this loan spell has been a giant waste of time. But there's plenty to get into, plenty to get into in today's stream. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. <coughs> I think there's a little bit of an update on Gallagher's contract as well, but it's not really an update. It's more just Chelsea don't know what they want to do with Gallagher just yet. They don't know what they want to do. Right now, according to Simon Phillips, he's been told that Chelsea are a little bit undecided on what they want to do with Gallagher. They've been leaning towards an extension for in recent weeks. There has actually been initial talks and they were positive on both sides. It was also correct that in the summer they were listening to offers for Gallagher and no club was going to match their 50 million valuation. Really and truly, if they want to get 50 million, they got to re-sign him anyway. But that's a conversation for after the contract sign. This will continue to do the rounds, though, until the contract is sorted. Big up to my guy, Hussam. Love for the redirect, as always. Big up, my guy. Guys, unless you've been living under a cliff. Not under a cliff, under a rock. Everybody sub to This Is Football. Everybody sub to This Is Football. Best, um, I was going to say best Liverpool channel, but they're basically a neutral channel at this point. But yeah, just sub to Hussam. Great character, great guy. All of that. And big up. Big up to Chloe. Big up to DJ Sav. Big up to Adam saying, where's the Twitch lads at? Big up to all the all the one people. There's only one person. It's just you, bro. <laughs> it's just you. Big up, my guy. But it's great to see you on there. We'll solve the points deduction stuff. So apparently, Chelsea owner Abramovich has got Chelsea into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Files were leaked, revealing a series of payments worth tens of millions of pounds over a decade. Tens of millions of pounds were routed through offshore vehicles belonging to Roman, with the transactions appearing to be for Chelsea's benefit, raising questions about whether they were declared in accounts submitted to football's governing bodies. Oh no, money being given to big players and managers under the table. This doesn't happen in world football. This doesn't happen at the top level of the game. Nah. Could never. It could never be my club. Shock. Okay, so let's keep reading. Beneficiaries appear to include the agent of the star player Eden Hazard, an associate of the title-winning manager Antonio Conte and Chelsea FC officials. Other payments appear to have been connected to the purchase of players William and Samuel Eto'o. The payments have come to light thanks to an international investigation known as Cyprus Confidential. A cache of 3.6 million offshore records leaked to the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. Fucking hell, what a mouthful. The ICU. And Germany's paper trail media. Okay, that was a little bit easier at least. Now, I don't know if we get in a lot of trouble, seeing as this is the old regime. I'd say it wouldn't surprise me, but, like, really? Is this what we'd be in trouble for? Something that I see happen so often in football. Any issues will be with the Premier League, first and foremost. It won't be with UEFA. UEFA can only look at evidence going back within the last three years. And we've already been slapped with an 8.6 million fine just for outing ourselves. So I think that's done. The Premier League can look back further. But there's a lot of ifs and buts in this article too. And they don't really have all of Chelsea's accounts either. So it's all speculative from one side. I'm not really that worried. Worst we get is a fine, in my opinion. But there's there's no way we get points deducted for something Roman did. And stuff that this idiot government didn't even notice when they robbed the club from Roman and literally sold it to Bowley. Like you didn't find out this information yourself. 
Okay. Like, I feel like deals like this are very commonplace. <clears throat> it's only really coming to light because Roman's finances are under a microscope. But if we are to get in a lot of trouble for this, we need to do what Man City did with the 115 charges and just say, hey, everybody does this, you know? This ain't just us. This ain't just us. Like, do we really believe that top players and managers don't get significant money given to them under the table? Really? Really? Are we going to be that naive? That naive? No. If we want to do that, we better just start snitching on everybody. Put everybody under the table the same way Man City were willing to do when they were the ones being investigated. Like, I feel like we run a very dangerous precedent if Chelsea are to get in a lot of trouble for this. That's why I think it's only going to be a fine and it's not going to be anything deep, that deep. Like, I've seen other clubs come into this question before. I don't know if anyone remembers this question given to Guardiola in 2019. I'm going to share the screen here. Just one sec. Yeah, there's one big question the club haven't answered, which related which unfortunately is the environment you are celebrating, but Roberto Mancini was discovered to have had separate payments from Abu Dhabi while okay, guys, manager. We're not have you ever had separate payments we're not from Abu Dhabi that now, while City manager? Do you, know, do you know the question as you're asking to me? Do you know the question asking me if I receive money for another situation right now today? The, do you believe, honestly, do you think I deserve to make this kind of question that happened, Roberto, I don't know, did they want to travel about the I've received money for the other situations? <sighs> okay, we're running an embargo now, please. Oh for one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You run that embargo. You run that embargo. You you do that. Again, do we really think this thing doesn't happen in football in the modern day? Cool. How about you open up that can of worms? Go for it. We will tank every football club out there. Go for it. Go for it, my friend. Like, sh shit like this always happens at the top level. We really going to pretend that any of these billionaires are clean? No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Like, if we want to do the whole trophy dodging, I mean, trophy deduction thing, should we take Arsenal's Invincibles trophy away? Arsenal in a multi-million tax dodge from 2004. For anyone who doesn't want to read the long shit, what happened was... Arsenal used trusts based in tax havens, which is countries where the tax rate is a lot lower, and they used that to pay the majority of player wages, allowing them to report it in a much lower base salary and therefore pay less in national insurance. They also used similar systems to facilitate payments to agents. We're not going to do the whole points deduction thing with them. We're not going to do the whole, um, what's it called? Let's take away their trophies, but we're going to run that bullshit scaremongering narrative when it comes to Chelsea Football Club. No, 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 not listening. Not listening. Not listening. This will take ages to get cleaned out. We'll probably pay a fine for it. Something that will probably take about seven years to pay off. But it's not that deep. If Chelsea really want to delve deep, we can find the same sort of dodgy business with nearly every other big club that's out there. So it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. We will be fine. Forget the scaremongering. Forget the, oh, are we going to get deducted 12 points? Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. I'm not worried. Not worried at all. These men are going to check everything that Roman's doing. And like, if, if we're really going to be in trouble for the stuff the old regime did, again, very bad precedent, you're saying. Very bad precedent. So yeah. Hopefully we can relax for now. And yeah, let's see let's see what happens with this situation. Because this isn't gonna be the last that we hear about it. It's not gonna be the last. Everyone's talking about Man City in the chat. Man City got 115 charges. That shit's gonna take years to go through. Years. So I don't think it'll take it won't take us long with Chelsea, but it won't be done anytime soon either. We will be fine. We will be fine. Right, on to the Alfonso Davies stuff. And Simon Phillips has reported that, um, what is it? Contract at Bayern Munich ends in the summer of 2025 and Chelsea are sensing an opportunity with him. There's no immediate concerns about left back, but the club believe that this is an area that they can improve on. And if a chance to sign Davies comes up, they want to jump. 
especially believing that he will be at a cut price due to his contract running down. There's no chance for a move in January, but Chelsea will keep an eye out in the summer. And there are doubts over the condition and fitness of Ben Chilwell. And Matson is likely to be sold in January, if not in the summer. Cucurella's improved a lot, but Chelsea were quick to send to a loan plus potential sell for him in the summer. So it's yet to be seen if they would still sell. But I don't feel like Cucurella is in any real danger of leaving anymore. Like his performances have to have given him a stay at Chelsea now. He's shown improvement. He's shown growth. Cucurella's got to stay. Matson, God knows what happens with him. Ben Chilwell, start learning Arabic, my friend. Start learning Arabic, my friend. Because I don't know where you're getting back into this team. Real Madrid, Liverpool and City are interested as well. Realistically, I think if Madrid are interested, we're all done out. We're all done out. But Davies for Chilwell. This is the upgrade I need. This is the upgrade we need. It definitely won't be easy. But apparently he's a Chelsea fan. Proper Chelsea. So you never know. We could tempt him with the project. I think we need to do exactly what we've been doing with Oshiman, where it's like we already opened talks with his agents a little bit early. We test the waters, see what agreements you guys can come to, see if he's interested in the project. Because the number one thing you'd want to do if you want to get this player in, start the work early. Start the groundwork early. They're saying Davies don't want us. Davies is apparently a Chelsea fan and watched us a lot when he's growing up. So I'm not saying it's guaranteed he join us, but no reason not to believe. No reason not to believe. Still a bit early to tell where he's where his head's at. Apparently, sources are saying the contract situation with Davies is a 50-50 situation right now, but he would welcome a new challenge. So there's a lot of variables to go through right now. Does he want to leave? Would he want to join Chelsea? Where will Chelsea be next season? Will we be in Europe? Will we be in the Champions League? Will we be in, will we be in the Europa League? So it, there's a lot to go through right now. Just start the groundwork. <clears throat> the same thing that you're doing with Oshiman that we're going to get into in a little sec. Start that with Davies. Because there are a lot of clubs looking at him. Manchester City has been rumoured to be interested. Liverpool's rumoured to be interested. Real Madrid's rumoured to be interested as well. Get Davies early. Because also, if you want to play 4D chess, you get Davies sorted earlier. Suddenly, all these other clubs need a left back. And, ah, oh, well, do we have someone for you, my friends? Do we have someone for you? Not you, not you, not you. Well, we've already spoken about you. But yes, Chilwell, you. We can send you off to Man City again. Man City had interest in Chilwell. Well, let's see if you still do. I doubt it. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, Liverpool, maybe. Go for him. I don't care. Real Madrid, go for him. I don't care. But this is how you play outside the box. You take the main target and then you put your deadwood on the market. Then they're all going to come and they're going to start bidding for that bum. And then we just keep winning. We just keep winning. Chels. Fucking Chels. I'd, I'd love to wish that it would be that easy. But again, things do have to fall in the right place for us. But you see how things work out better for us. One guy in and another bum out. Chels. We'll see what happens with Alfonso Davies. Again, very early to say. Very early to say. We've only just started getting links to Davies now. I'd like to say it's between us and Real Madrid. But again, it depends on what we do this season. Just like it will it will depend with Oshiman. It depends on how we do this season. Do we have a good do we have a good January window? Do we win trophies? Do we show continuous improvement? All of those variables, all of those variables will decide it. And also, if he even re-signs or not. If he re-signs, then we're all fucked. Um, I don't think we will see Ben Chilwell again this year. He's another one Chelsea needs. Hey, take your time, man. Take your time. In enjoy America, bro. Enjoy America. Like he's, he's watching basketball. He's following his favorite team and all of that. Enjoy your vacation, man. In fact, double it. In fact, triple it. In fact, just don't even come back. Just don't even come back. 
just just enjoy your time out there. Enjoy the sun, enjoy the sea, enjoy the shades, enjoy everything. Enjoy the women, enjoy the weed, all of that. Just stay over there, man. Stay over there, man. Have fun. Enjoy it. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Best of luck to you, man. Right. Um, what's next? Oshiman. Oshiman. So, um, man said you're harsh on this one. Bro, get good. At Chelsea, you got to be harsh. At Chelsea, you got to be harsh. Man says, do you watch Bundesliga at all? Because Davies ain't it. I'm, I'm guessing you watch Bundesliga. Is he that? Has he been that bad? Has he been that bad? He ain't, he ain't been balling out like I expected him to. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Because maybe we need to bring that up. Maybe we do need to bring that up if that's the case. But let me get into the Oshiman stuff. I'll, I'll read the comments. I'll see when that comes through. But Napoli and Oshiman have been in talks over a new contract for months, but are still yet to find an agreement with one year left in the summer. Chelsea and Madrid yet again lead the interest for him. Fuck off, Madrid. Fuck off, Madrid. Actually, yeah, I'll ask Steve. I'll ask Steve if he's around. Chelsea obviously have strong interest in him and Tony, but are yet to have made a decision on either. And it seems like the choice will be dependent on the football between now and January. Simon Phillips has said that Oshimen is the dream target, always has been the dream target. Last summer, he was unattainable, but he will be for sale in the summer if no contract is agreed with one year left on his contract. And he is open to the idea of joining Chelsea. It was also reported a day or two ago that um, Oshimen is open to the idea of joining Chelsea and Chelsea have now made contact with his agents. Matt Laws also said Oshimen is Chelsea and Pochettino's first choice striker. A summer move is also more likely than a January one. Although, like, Matt Laurel is a bit of a waffler. I kind of get what you're saying, though. Because I feel like all the sources I'm seeing are hinting that it's kind of Oshiman over Tony. It feels like Chelsea are leaning a bit more towards Oshiman. And the summer move over January move, that's just common sense. You're not getting him in January. Not unless you're spending 250 or 300 million or something stupid like that. So really and truly, it's again Tony in January or Oshimen in the summer. Or both. I mean, if we can if we can even do both. It's one or the other. I don't mind us going for Oshimen in the summer, but we have to pattern ourselves up until then. We need to be back in Europe. He will not join us if we're out of Europe for another year. If we're in the Conference League, we look very unattractive. If we're in the Europa League, maybe, maybe. I, I feel like we could still pull into Chelsea. Champions League, yeah, I back us. I back us. But we need to pattern our own shit. Because if we don't have a good season, we aren't looking attractive at all. Said buy in January and then loan him back for six months. I've never thought of that because I didn't really think that was feasible. But, I mean, if you could persuade them to do that, go and do it. Go and do it. I'm fine with that. That's great. That's a great idea. If we're paying January... Yeah, that's a fair point too, though. That's a fair point too. But here's the thing. If we were to do that and loan him back for six months, then we shouldn't be paying what we would pay in January. We should be paying what we'd be paying with a year left. Like, I think we could get him for about, I don't know. I'm thinking around the 100 range. 100, 120 million, something like that. God forbid more. God forbid more. But we shouldn't be paying any more if we're going to loan him back. Um, Davies' pace has dropped off a little bit. But his defensive awareness is not sharp. He makes simple mistakes like he did when he was 90. Ugh. Red flag. Bit of a red flag. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll ask Steve as well. I'll ask Steve as well. I might try and watch a few Bundesliga games. Now I've got some vested interest. We've got a player that we're interested in. Um, how is Chilwell a bum? I, I don't have the time to explain it. I'm just going to say this guy is a left back that can't defend. He's a left winger that can't attack. So figure it out, man. 
figure it out. Why would Davies join Chelsea? He wants to play for a big club. That's why he's interested in Chelsea, my friend. Big up my guy Henry, but uh, sadly you can't relate. And that's okay. That's okay. But big up my guy anyway. I do need to drop that... Um, What's it called? I need to drop the short from when we did, we did the whole one-chip challenge thing. Chelsea, by the way, you must... You must finish above Spurs. I am I am not doing this bullshit one-chip challenge. It's got to be him. It's got to be him. So you better. You had better. Because fucking hell. It's, it's fucking... It's November and a man's still trying to defend Ben Chilwell. Like, what are we doing? We, we've been making this argument since about May. Man, are just slow with some of these players. First, it was a Habert's agenda. Then it was a Mount agenda. Now it's a Chilwell agenda. And guess what? They're all shit. Hmm. And maybe it's not an agenda. Hmm. These man, this man's the what? Appreciate appreciate you watching the stream, my friend. Appreciate you watching the stream, my friend. Right. Um, was there anything else on the Austrian and stuff? So it does look like we're um does look like we're leaning towards Austrian, but again, we have to be back in Europe. I don't know if we've spoken to Tony's agents. Because it's been reported that we're speaking to Austrian's agents, and that's why it feels like we've kind of made our decision. Kind of. Lewis, you also had a gender against Galadog. He proved you hella wrong. And I and I praised him for it, which shows there was no agenda. Because if it, if that was the case, I'd be like, no, he's still shit. Sell him. Get rid of him. All he is is a work rate merchant. No. They actually improved. Why has Ben Chilwell been able to be thrown into every lineup for the first six, seven games and not improve a thing? Uncomfortable conversations. Thank you. Res thank you for understanding, CNAC. Thank you, bro. <coughs> Respect is earned. I'm not backing you just because you're a Cobham grad. Show me something. It's the same argument with Poch. This is why I've been Poched out for the longest. Because you need to show me something. I was ripping Poch the first few games this season. Now it's like, nah, you know what? You're doing well. You're doing well. Fair enough, man. Just keep improving the team. That's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. You know what it is, my guy. Big up. Sean, some people can't see it. Some people don't want to see it. So all some people can see are these medals. That's all they can see. So like, no, he helped us win those medals. He's a legend. Yeah, sure. Sure. Now that Havertz has left Chelsea, people can now finally admit that he took a shit touch in Porto. And that Edison was actually the one who won us the Champions League. But hey, if I said that a year ago, I'd be an agenda merchant. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Yeah, let's get into the Sanchos. Uh, Sanchos. Santos news. <coughs> we can't keep splashing 100 million every window. Why not? Why not? We, we, we probably make 100 million every season based off TV money, based off achievements within the season, the place you end on the table, why not? Why not? Why can't we not improve our team? Should we just stick with Chilwell because we have him? Yeah, he's shit, and he can't do anything, and he's a press trigger, but hey, we can't spend money, so you know what, Chilwell, you stay. You stay, that's my guy. That's my guy. Enemy of progress, brother. Enemy of progress. But yeah, Chelsea consider Andre Santos' lone recall after the Nottingham Forest struggle, good. Good, because this guy is just wasting his development here. It's not really our fault. It's just a victim of circumstance, if anything. And, yeah. Find him another club. Find him another club. Or just keep him at Chelsea and let him train with the players we have. They're better than the bums they have at Forest. I know we lost them and everything, but we shouldn't have. Point still stands. Point still stands. Um, yeah, see what happens with Andre Santos when he returns. Forrest have just wasted his time, they've wasted our time, but what are you going to do? Sometimes there are bad loan spells. He's got plenty of time to keep developing. He just needs to be around Poch. He needs to be around our players, and he's, he needs to learn our style of play. That's all I need. 
bring him back, save him from Nottingham Forest and all of their terrorism and all of that, and we'll, we'll find another club for him. Find another club for him. But we have to find the right club. It has to be the right club. Wherever we send him, we have to know that he's getting a lot of game time. And it needs to be a team that's doing well. Ideally. I say ideally as well, because like now it's midway through the season. I think you're very unlikely to find a team that's doing well and is also going to offer a lone player a lot of game time. It's not really going to happen. Luton Town, potentially. I mean, they, they should give him game time. He'll be playing on the back foot a lot. I said Tottenham. Oh, dear. God forbid. You don't need to do that. Leicester, we've already loaned the player to Leicester. I don't think we can loan two. Cassidy's already there. I don't even think they're rating Cassidy at, at Leicester from what I'm hearing. Yeah, Fraser, like this FFP thing, it's a load of waffle. It's a load of, of waffle. We'll get a fine or some bullshit, and that will be it. That will be it. Hell, maybe Strasbourg has room for one more Chelsea player. Maybe we can send Andre Santos there. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out.